This is Ajay for Tech Primus. In this session, we are going to see how does Spring MVC works. So if you are aware about MVC, which is nothing but model view and controller, if you are aware that JSP uses this model view controller framework, then this particular session will be a cakewalk for you. So Spring internally is using the model view controller, which is adapted from the JSP servlet framework. So if you see here, we have a dispatcher servlet. So ideally, if you see a MVC framework, so it will have a dispatcher servlet. So this is the same dispatcher framework which Spring is using. So the first part, how the request comes is, this request reaches the dispatcher servlet. From the dispatcher servlet, it is sent to a handler mapping. So handler mapping has the list of mappings which you have uh, created for a REST controller. So for example, um, let's say you have a REST endpoint saying slash REST slash search. So that particular mapping will be registered to this handler mapping using the controller. So what we will be doing is uh, the green parts if you see in this particular diagram. So these are the ones which we will be creating and Spring will hold those. So for example, in this case, we create a controller called let's say search service. So you have a REST endpoint URL saying slash REST slash search and that will be registered to a handler mapping. So when Spring identifies, it identifies that, okay, I have a controller which is having a path as slash rest slash search and that will be inside the handler mapping. So the next part would be loading the handler adapter. So the handler mapping just had the mappings to the controller. However, the handler adapter is the one which is going to route it to the controller. So when we hit this particular rest URL, then it will automatically route to the controller using the handler adapter so that will be the step four so once it hits the handler adapter um, then it reaches to the controller so from the controller we uh, do whatever processing we need for example let's say if you want to query a search service so we uh, query the database using some jpa repository or hibernate or whatever it is so we query the um, database and then we can return that back so whatever we will be querying and we will be creating a model right so obviously when we do a database query we create a model out of it so which is model is nothing but a plain old java object so that is going to be the model which is displayed here in this part so that is the model so how will we display it back so there is something called view resolver which the dis, uh, dispatcher servlet uses so that is going to route the model back to the view so whatever result we got that will be displayed in the view back using the view resolver so this is the high level view of how spring works spring mvc works and the green parts whatever we have displayed here that will that is what we will be creating as a part of our development the others are all provided by spring mvc so that will be uh, out of the box available for us so we don't have to worry about how to route our uh, servlets like how we do in jsp right so you have to have a mapping you have to create a handler mapping you have to create an adapter you have to plug the servlets manually into the web.xml so that we don't have to do it uh, spring mvc takes care of that the only part which we need to work on is the controller the service repositories or and the view so that that is what we will be doing so that's it for the spring mvc um, overview uh, let's meet in the next session for creating a spring mvc application thank you